We'll see that sleet and snow mixing next couple of hours before the sleet totally takes over and eventually even could see some rain as well. So our live radar, as we show you the conditions outside, uh, we have snow and a wintry mix. Another product that we use is something called the correlation coefficient. And where we look for these bright colors that you see from Hartford to Willimantic out to the Cape and now up in the northern parts of Rhode Island, that's where we're already starting to see some sleep mixing and maybe even into the southern parts of Worcester County already. So that quick mix and change to sleep has occurred very quickly. This is one of the things we were talking about with this storm system the last couple of days. The trickiest part of the forecast, how quickly that transition to sleep would occur. And obviously happening very quickly this morning, even all the way up into northern Rhode Island. So I do think accumulations will end up on the lower end of what we were forecasting. Low pressure developing to the south and west of us will pass very close to Nantucket, the high that brought the cold air yesterday departing. And so for us and all across New England, we're in for a mess morning of a wintry mix. Accumulation so far this morning, about an inch and a half of snow in Situate and Woonsocket, again, mixing with some sleet, which doesn't accumulate, accumulate a little bit, but not as efficiently as the snow will. Somerset with an inch of snow, West Warwick, East Providence, both just below that one inch amount. Our temperatures right now running between about 25 and 30 degrees in the Providence area, Newport as well at 28. We have seen some gusty winds, and that uh, will continue this morning, especially coastal areas. You can see Block Island right now gusting over 30 miles per hour. Few gusts to 35 miles per hour possible this morning. Now, visibility has started to come up where we've seen that mix and change over to sleet. So, Smithfield now with over a mile visibility, westerly, Newport, New Bedford with several miles visibility. So, accumulations will be on the low end again of these forecast amounts, a coating along the coastline, maybe a sloppy inch or two in the central part of Rhode Island. And the best chance at another few inches of snow or sleet would be in northern Rhode Island. It is leading to difficult travel conditions. Conditions, that much uh, certainty for your morning commute with poor conditions at 9 a.m., but improving by the early afternoon. It's not perfect. We'll still have some rain and then snow showers in the afternoon and evening hours, but better conditions than what we're seeing right now. We are still under the winter storm warning for northern Rhode Island and a winter weather advisory in the southern half of the state. That goes through midnight tonight, and the winter storm warning expands all the way up into northern New England. So, going to be a day of difficult travel if you're headed into central or Northern New England. Here's that hour by hour forecast. That's lead again in place here in southern New England, continuing to gradually lift northward through the end of the morning commute at 9 o'clock in the morning. That area of low pressure again passing to the south of us as it moves eastward. It'll take the steadier precipitation out of southern New England. So by lunchtime, really starting to see some lulls in the precipitation. Now further north, these are lighter snow, but it does continue to see some snow showers all the way into the afternoon and evening and some of that colder air as it comes back in will give us the chance for some additional snow showers even into your Friday evening before the skies clear out. So as the, the temperatures go, we are on the rise. Upper 20s right now will climb eventually into the lower to middle 30s for this afternoon. So accumulations again going to tapering off this morning with lighter rain and snow showers in the afternoon and early evening. One thing we are going to be watching for overnight tonight is that rapid drop in temperatures. So any slush or water on the roadways will freeze up as we drop all the way down to about 17 degrees, dropping below freezing by about 6 or 7 this evening for most of us. 34 for your high on Saturday. Sunday's high near 41 degrees. It's very cold early next week, but with some quiet weather. Heading back from school vacation week for most kids.